What is HTML5 and what are the new features? HTML is a markup language designed for processing, defining, presenting and formatting the text. The HTML5 is the latest version and has features like local storage, new form elements like date, time, URL, range and color, canvas for 2D drawing, media elements like audio and video, new semantic elements like nav, header, footer, section and article, local storage and session storage instead of cookies. What are the new form elements in HTML5? Data list, keygen and output. Data list. It specifies a list of options for input controls. Keygen. This tag defines a key pair generator field. Output. It defines the result of a calculation. What are all the new semantic elements you have used and what is their use? Article, aside, dialogue, figure, fig caption, footer, progress, and section. Article. This tag defines an article. Aside. It defines content other than the page content. Dialog. It defines a dialog box. Figure. This tag specifies content like illustration, diagram, photos, code listing, etc. Fig caption. It is used to provide a caption for a figure element. Footer. This tag defines a footer for a document or section. Progress. This tag exhibits the progress of a task. Section. It defines a section in a document. What is SVG? SVG is the abbreviation for Scalable Vector Graphics and is recommended by W3C for creating vector graphics with support for interactivity and animation. It follows XML format. SVG graphics do not lose its quality when they are zoomed or resized. What is Canvas? Canvas is a new feature in HTML5. It provides some space or a container in the document where we can draw graphics using JavaScript. For example, it can be used to draw graphs, make photo compositions, create animations or even do real-time video processing or rendering. What is the difference between Canvas and SVG? SVG is vector graphics where Canvas is pixel graphics. SVG is resolution independent, it will not lose its quality when resized or zoomed. But canvas is resolution dependent, the quality will be affected when it is zoomed or resized. SVG is written in XML format, canvas is drawn with JavaScript. Canvas is suitable for games while SVG is not. SVG can be modified through CSS or JavaScript, but in canvas only through JavaScript. What is doc type? And is it mandatory? Yes, Doctype is mandatory. It is used to instruct the browser about the version of our HTML document. In older versions, we must include the version of HTML we are using. In HTML5, it is very much simplified, which is just Doctype in HTML5. What is Quick Mode in HTML5? Or what if we miss Doctype element in HTML5? If we omitted or not included the doc type element in our document, it will went to quick mode. In this mode, the handling of the HTML elements is left to the browser. So the display of our contents will vary from browser to browser and in older versions. So it is always safe to include doc type in our document. What is web workers? A web worker is a JavaScript code that runs in a background without affecting the page. It is used for performing computational heavy tasks such as accessing database or functions that require heavy memory. Normally if some script is executing in an HTML page, the page remains unresponsive until the script's execution stops. But an HTML5 web worker is a script that is JavaScript that keeps executing in background. At the same time, user can interact with the page and will not affect any performance degradation. HTML5 web worker normally exists in external files and used for long running CPU extensive tasks but without affecting the user interface or other scripts. What are the limitations of HTML5 web worker? HTML5 web worker seems to be very handy in many scenarios, especially for CPU intensive tasks but it has certain limitations. 
few javascript objects are not accessible to the html5 web worker such as parent object window object document object how can we link an email address in a web page like we do for website we can use mail to in the hyperlink for email like anchor tag hyperlink mail to mail at the rate email.com email me closing anchor tag what is data list in html5 data list is a new form feature in html5 that provides auto complete feature in an input box